Hey, my beautiful Virgos. Hey, how are you doing? This is Renee, and welcome back to your reading. Uh, we're going to take a look at the cards. Let's see what's going on. And Virgo, if this resonates, like and subscribe, share. If it doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at your other placements, okay? Let's take a look at Virgo's energy. What is going on? We have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So there may be someone from your past that wants another chance. They at least want to communicate with you. They want to express some feelings to you. You know, they see you as the one that got away. We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Um, so definitely, I feel like this person is coming in different, right? I feel like they may have been doing a lot of soul searching. They may have been working on their issues, but they definitely feel like you're the one who got away and they really want to pursue the situation again. They want you to uh, reconcile. Okay, let's get some more energies for Virgo. We have overcoming difficulty. Archangel Jeremel, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. So you may have had a lot of obstacles and challenges. You may also be very clairvoyant at the moment. There's things that are coming um, in sight for you. you. You are like having this awakening but it's doing so to help your spirit or sight to awaken fully so you, you can clearly see heavenly love coming your way. This may have to deal with this past person, you know. Um, so I feel like spirit is letting you know to have an open mind, have an open heart here. You know, they may have changed their ways, you know. It may have been you that, that ended this situation. We have truth be told. So yeah, definitely. Someone wants to come in and bear their soul to you. Tell you how they're feeling. And we have no place like home. So you may have lived with this person. You may have shared space with this person. You know, and they feel like, you know, there's no place like home. They want to return back to that feeling. Right? And let's get some more energy for Virgo. Let's take a look at the tarot. What's going on for Virgo? Messages, please. Give me a message, spirit. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, soul placements. Okay. Your current energy is the Ten of Cups. Wow. Wow. What is the past energy? Give me the past energy. Oh, the cards are fumbling now. The Hierophants and the Three of Cups. Hmm. And future energy, please. The Queen of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Wow. Yeah. So. Virgo, what I'm getting for with this Hierophant in the Three of Cups, you may have been getting advice from or counsel from people in your social circle, people around you, people that you trust and care for, right? Who you feel, trust and care for you. I feel like you're getting a lot of advice. It could be that, you know, you, you're you getting this advice because of some kind of difficulties that you're going through or that you have just overcome, okay? But I feel like you're in a pretty good place at the moment. You, you're, you're happy. You're, you know, you have what you need. So I feel like 
you're finding your truth. You know, you're totally in a comfort zone right now. You're you're happy, you're aware, um, but I feel like this is like a comfort zone for you. Okay, now your future energy. I feel like definitely trying to get an understanding of the situation, but this is love that's coming that you're not aware of. This is the very last card, so of course this is something that you're not expecting. You're not seeing this coming, okay? So you're you're fully understanding the position that you're at, and you're kind of demanding that you be heard in the things that you're doing in life, right? You're, you're trying to get an understanding of your situation, of where you are now. You're just trying to feel grounded. You know, trying to get your emotions together. Okay, give me more messages for Virgo. Tell me more about this Hierophant and Three of Cups. Tell me more about this Hierophant and Three of Cups, please. Okay, the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, that's that past person coming back. Hmm. And the Eight of Wands. Okay, so when this past person comes back, they're going to come back with the swiftness, right? They're going to come back very quick. They want to communicate. They want to tell you how they feel. They, they're they ready to take action. They're ready to get what they want because they feel like the choice that they made maybe in the past was not the right choice for them. Maybe you ended it or they ended it, but they felt like it was the wrong choice. They felt like it kind of invaded their heart space that it was difficult to handle. And <clears throat> they feel like they didn't receive any information from this. They feel like things were still hidden. They weren't revealed to them. You know, so they weren't able to get the answers that they needed for these choices that they had to make. You know, and they feel like they want to get that out. They want to speak their truth. They want to tell you exactly how they feel. Okay, so I, I feel like this person is coming through to a situation that was really unresolved. There was really no resolution here because I feel like there was still a lot of things that were unanswered. But this person feels like the choice was a wrong choice to make. It, it was a very hard choice, but it was something that they regret, right? So, let's see. For the future, for the Queen of Swords, we have the King of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands. And we have the Hermit. Okay, so Virgo, this person. I feel like they've been searching for a lot of understanding. They've been searching for that excitement, that drive. But they feel like there's just nothing but burden. They feel like there's just too much to carry. There's too much to handle. They have too many um, emotions, priorities that they're carrying. But all they want is excitement. All they want is that fire, right? And... Um, I feel like they're like searching for this. They're taking a lot of time out to really see what exactly that they want. But I feel like they're very wise to what they don't want. Okay? And they don't want this burden. They don't want to feel that burden anymore. Right? They're facing towards this excitement. This fire. You know, give me more messages for Virgo. Yeah, they're focused on strength, stability, on changing the situation. They they want they want you to see their point of view. They want something to be reconsidered. Okay. They want this stability. This person may be coming back with a very strong commitment. At first, they may not have been ready to commit at one time, but I feel like this person has the time that they've spent away from you, Virgo. I feel like they're ready to commit. They're, they've seen what's out there. They're not impressed. 
they want that commitment with Virgo. They're, they're looking for the stability. They're looking for this love, right? And I feel like they've definitely found it with Virgo, okay? Uh, tell me more about this Ten of Cups situation for Virgo. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups, please. Messages for Virgo. Okay, we have the Four of Swords in Reverse. I feel like you're just trying to find happiness, Virgo. You're trying to put the focus on yourself, but you're not doing a very good job. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like you're all in your head about things. You're really looking for happiness, but you're too caught up in the thinking. Right? Give me a message for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? An outcome, please. Okay, temperance, having faith, pushing through. Healing. The Six of Wands. The Magician. Wow. And the Two of Pentacles. Okay, at the bottom we have the Chariot. So I definitely feel like you're, you're really trying to find this redirection. There may be a situation to where you are really considering your options, right? Um, but I feel like you are looking for that healing. You're looking to have patience in the situation because you're waiting for some blessing. You know, what you see as a blessing, what you see as success, as happiness. Right? There's something that you're manifesting, but I feel like you need to get your priorities straight before you're able to manifest the situation. There's something that you haven't fully decided on. There's something that you're still juggling. Maybe you're juggling too many priorities. Right? But I feel like before you're able to manifest the situation the way, the exact way that you want it, you're going to have to set your priorities correctly. Okay, there's going to be some choices that you need to make, something that you need to get straight. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Definitely. Okay. At the bottom, you have the Empress, Virgo. So you're taking on this Empress energy. You're manifesting. You're very creative. You're very beautiful. You're very attractive. You know, you can also be very fertile. But the Empress is very fertile to give birth to new ideas, new actions. You know, she's not backing down from a situation. She's totally driven. And she knows where to put her energy. Right? And I feel like, Virgo, you're tired of fighting. You're tired of having to feel like you have to battle. You know, you're ready for to let that behind. You're ready to let that go. You know, you're thinking about what makes you happy. You know, and I feel like whatever this is that you're fighting about, what you're fighting for, whatever this is you're standing up for, you know, you've, you're wondering... Is it worth it? You know, is it going to make you happy? Is it going to bring you these blessings? Okay, but I feel like with this Nine of Wands energy, it's something that you should not give up. You know, it's not the time to back down now. It's time to persevere and see things through to the end. Right? Yeah, have faith in your situation. Because you're, you're the high priestess, the queen of cups energy. Okay, so th this is something to where you need to follow your intuition. Follow your instincts. Because they're going to lead you to this happiness, this love, this nurturing. You know, finding the support that you need. Um... 
finding this love, right? Moving into a better situation, moving into calmer shores. Okay, you could be literally moving in order to pursue something or in order to be close to someone. But I feel like you're definitely moving into this situation. And I feel like once it gets started, it's going to just escalate. But I feel like, you know, you're you're kind of waiting for things to happen. You, you may be getting advice on certain situations, but there's patience. Now, once the movement starts happening, then it's going to gain momentum and it's going to get pretty fast, right? Let's get a timeline. For Virgo, give me a message for Virgo, please. Give me a timeline. Give me a timeline for this message. Okay. You are experiencing hesitation. Be clear with your desires and the time frame is within 10 months. Okay, so there's that hesitation. Now, the momentum is rolling. Stay positive. It's on the way, right? So Spirit is letting you know not to hesitate in your situation. That once you gain a positive flow in the situation, it's going to gain momentum. And it's going to come much faster. Okay, um... So, let's take a look at your angels. See what messages we have for Virgo. We have red, passion. You know, something very passionate is coming. And we also have rebirth, release with the snake. So, definitely some kind of psycho ending, something being released. Uh, with this Five of Cups energy and something being born, right? Something coming out of the ashes. Okay, so beautiful. Let's go ahead and get a Monology card for Virgo. Okay, we have, it's time to take action. So it's not time to sit back and wait for things to happen. It's time to take action in your situation because a new start is coming, right? So very beautiful. And now let's take a look at your, let's get you an angel number, Virgo. Let's see what the angels are saying to you. Angel number for Virgo, please. Oh my goodness, look at this. 1111, intuition. Angel numbers. Definitely. This is very important, right? Um, Virgo, trust in yourself. Your inner whisper is working hard to let you know that it is guiding you. Listen in. What is it saying? Feel it. Where is it telling you to go next? See it. Close your eyes and allow. Trust the path that you're on. Okay, your affirmation. My intuition speaks to me and I listen. I trust that all things are happening for a purpose. Beautiful. Okay, Virgo. This is your message. So, if this reading resonates, like, subscribe, share. If it doesn't resonate with you, make sure to take a look at your other placements. Okay? And until your next reading, Virgo, many blessings to you. Love ya. Lights.